Hello, everyone. This is a complicated subject, but I'm going to try to unpack it as best I can. But it's hard to explain something like this to someone logically because it's not something that even after I explain it to you, you'll really understand. Because it's not something you logically get, it's just innate within who you are. It's just something that is a part of you. My native name is Ama, which is translated into wolf in English. And I'm a proud two-spirit person. Uh, now, people in my culture, uh, two-spirits, I didn't even know they existed or who they were or never heard of it before until I took my medical anthropology class. And this could... This is due to the fact that our culture was ripped from us and we were taught shame and all these other things for simply being who we were, you know, and that's for another, another talk for another time. But I found out about two spirit people at the same time as I'm transitioning into who I am. And two, two spirit people are actually, um, in my culture were not only accepted and respected but they were revered and they were given special duties and clans as mediators as shaman as chiefs and so much more and for us two spirit is someone who is born as a male but um, identifies as female or as a female and identifies as male and we were known as warriors and the females who transitioned were known as beautiful crafts, uh, crafts, women, artists, and so much more. And it's not only in Native American culture where we were accepted and revered. It's throughout the whole of the seven continents, th through the beginning of civilization, that we've accepted and revered these people from every continent. Like Asia, you have people in India, certain people in uh, um, Thailand, uh, Vietnam, and so forth, China. Uh, you have people in Europe from Albania, uh, different parts of Russia. You have people that are in Africa from uh, Uganda to Egypt and so much more. Australia, all the Americas, and then not even in the continents, but also the outlier islands, like in Samoa, the Fafafine. And all these other names, I'll, I'll put in a link below just to show that we were revered and respected throughout the globe, throughout the beginning of history until people came and tried to colonize all these different places and put these on us. But my thing is, you know, what would our ancestors say in the way that we're treating our people who are non-binary or who are transgender? If throughout time your ancestors and my ancestors ancestors have respected us, you know, it's a shame. And it's a shame that we don't know our own history. Um, my family, I told first and they respect me and what I want to do with my body and my life. And they love me. And that love is unconditional. It's not dictated on like car drive, the cars I go to, or nothing like that. They love me unconditionally. And I love them unconditionally. Now, if you're going to stay in my life, um, the only thing I ask is that you have decorum with me and respect toward me. The same as I will have with you. And if you have any questions or anything like that, I'm going to share some uh, links over here um, and all that. And I just want to say thank you for your time, and uh, I hope you have a blessed holidays.